I wanted to start a podcast. I wanted to follow my passion. I want to make a difference, but making a difference can only go so far by the amount of money you have. So it, it's not the, the fact that you're that you're not good. It's just the fact that you have to get good so you can turn the good into a business. So simplifying the podcasting is difficult. It's overwhelming. Just like you mentioned something about thumbnails, something about the uh, the description, the SEOs, the marketing, the advertising, the promotion. Like there, it's a lot of moving parts that goes into podcast creation or podcast production, but it it, it can be created from one step at a time. It can be produced one step at a time. You just have to understand what you're producing at that time, at that moment. And I, I went to a conference uh, back in uh, January of 2023. And when I went to this conference, it was a guy named Eric Thomas. He's a motivation speaker. He's, he's speaking for a long time. And so uh, as I'm in this conference, he he, pre, he proceeds to say, don't compare your, don't, what do you say? Don't compare your, your start to my 20 year experience. Don't compare where you are at to where I've been because I've been doing it longer than you and that matters because there's a gap that you have to see that you can't be and have and create 800 different podcast episodes if you haven't even created one if you haven't even created two if you if you even haven't under don't understand where to start starting is so scary because how do you start and you know this is going to work how do you start this and you know that there's something that you would like to do it's scary so i want to simplify the starting phase and, and, and show that when you start this is why you're starting then when you start this is who you want to connect with when you start this is who you can help this is how you can help them but identifying that is what we start of your your process what i want us to briefly look at is your process and your gain one of the things that i say is make business make sense make business make sense and um what i want us to look at uh, in america today it's uh it's very expensive it's very expensive and to be an independent entrepreneur and um, doing your thing and um, what is an average cost um, for you to charge a podcaster for this to help a podcaster for this type of business to to make sense to you so the average cost is 497 and it's for coaching for mentorship and guiding and the reason being is because if, if you want to learn from someone who has an experience okay now you have to learn and be willing to pay for someone who's willing to give the experience because what this the do is it, it'll help you being a better it, it'll help you start on a better path and better direction i i, I like that but even as we go into podcasts you know we we talk about the mechanics after the production would have been done and there's another um you know important concepts to look at even before the production is done you know because you know before you produce the the content you want to know who you're talking to mm -hmm. and you want to know if it makes sense to talk to that target market you want to know the best way to communicate the information you know um are you have all of the skills to communicate communicate the information in the right way to um, appeal to your your target market and these are some soft skills and uh, if you don't master these soft skills and um, you can lose the entire audience base because guess what instead of incorporating storytelling instead of incorporating motivational you know and um, concepts you you sound like an intellectual giant <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> You know, that intellectual muscle does not always work with, you know, the ideal client. So there's so much that actually goes into this process. And I really admire you, the work that you're doing in this regard uh, to really, you know, reach podcasters and, uh, you know, providing your substance um, to help transform their, their life. I like you also because you're a big thinker, because um, I'm looking at your data and I'm seeing that, hey, you know, Terrell Humphrey, Marine um, Corps veteran, uh, Terence um, Humphrey, the the brain behind um, uh, FIK, and FIK stands for failure is, is knowledge. Terrell um, Humphrey, the great mind. You also want to, you don't want to touch a uh, hundred podcasters. You don't want to touch you know two hundred podcasters. You don't want to touch a hundred thousand podcasters. You want to touch a million video podcasters and truly make impact in their lives. And I think that that's great. That is great. Um, that tells me that that now that you some of the the walmart ideology is uh rubbing off on you <laughs> because you see yourself having a big clientele base um i like walmart and I, I think that's the way you you we need to train our mind to think one of the great things that we learn you know um you know so as a man think it so is he so if you think in lack and limitation doubts and fear that's where you're going to manifest but if you think in abundance and greatness and you see yourself as being great and being you know um entitled to achieve these great things, 
and you're going to achieve it. The mind gives you exactly what you say you want to accomplish. So I love that. But talk to us about this big vision. As we begin to wrap up uh, today's program, talk to us about this big vision. Do you think that we have a, a big pool, uh, enough of um, you know podcasters for you to draw upon? So yes, yes, I do. Uh, you, you, I do want to hit on, you said million, but I want to help a billion with the B people. <laughs> <laughs> Hats off to you, Maria. <laughs> Marine Corps veteran, hats off to you. <laughs> so to, to, to go in depth with the question, so there's a book by Donald Trump. I don't follow politics or really into the politics or anything of that nature. Yeah. But there's a book that Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump wrote, and it was called The Art of the Deal. And mm -hmm. the first page, the first book, like the, the cover book, as soon as you open it, it has some words on right to the left before you even start the book. In the beginning, it says, if you're going to dream, why not dream big? I said, that's, that's all I need to know. I didn't even finish the book. Gary, I, I put the book away because I read that one sentence, if you're going to dream, why not dream big? And so when I start to learn that it takes the same amount of effort to dream small, just to dream big, because you have to change what you're thinking. You have to change how you're thinking and what you think about yourself. A billion people is a lot of people. Okay, you you asked the question about, do you think the podcast space has a, has, is, is big enough? 